Hey, Jeff Nelson of VegSource. We rely on medical journals to provide unbiased, scientifically sound information. But what if the very process meant to ensure this integrity is compromised? Okay, um, here's a new study published in the Journal of American Medical Association. It reveals a startling fact. Nearly 60% of peer reviewers for top medical journals like JAMA and the New England Journal of Medicine, they receive payments from drug and medical device companies. This is the title. It's called Payments by Drug and Medical Device Manufacturers to U.S. Peer Reviewers of Major Medical Journals. And down here, uh, it says between 2020 and 2022, 1,155 peer reviewers, that's 58.9%, received at least one industry payment. This isn't pocket change. We're talking about significant sums of money. Down here, it says over three years, the median general payment was 7,600 and the median research payment was $153,173 among reviewers receiving such payments. Damn, that's not bad. Male reviewers had significantly higher total payments than females. So they got 38,959 versus 19,586 for women and general payments 8,600 for men and 4,183 for female reviewers. So men peer reviewers, they earn about double what they pay to women. Now, um, imagine you're a peer reviewer and you're from a company that's paying you $39,000 a year and you have to review one of their new drugs. How might this influence your judgment? To me, this raises very serious questions about the integrity of medical research. Are we seeing a bribery chain where drug companies control or influence every step of the research process? They are paying the researchers, they're paying the peer reviewers, and the medical journals themselves are being paid through advertising and other means. It creates a system where favorable results are far more likely to be published for the drug companies and unfavorable ones are going to be suppressed. And the implications of this new study, they're really kind of profound. I mean, this could lead to biased studies or, or is leading being published and potentially skewing our understanding of drug efficacy and safety. So it says reviewers received $1 billion dollars in industry payments between 2020 and 2022 including 1 billion 94 percent to individuals or their institutions and 64 million six percent in general payments now is is all industry funded research flawed that's a valuable question but i don't think we have the answer because we don't have the transparency that we need the peer reviewers for studies, they don't have to disclose their conflicts. They don't have to disclose, disclose who's paying them and how much money they're getting. And for me, I have to say I'm automatically very skeptical about this scientific process where drug companies, drug companies uh, may have everyone involved in the study, the, the reviewers, the people doing the study, the people running the journals on their payroll. Don't we deserve a system where peer reviewers are truly independent because we don't have that now? Next time you read a study, a groundbreaking medical study about some new drug or a shot or a treatment, remember to ask who funded the research, who's reviewing it, and who's funding them, and who's funding the journal that it appeared in. In the world of medical science, follow the money. And when you do, you might just be very surprised where it leads. Okay, that's it for today. Please give it a like, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.